Alrighty guys, sorry about that, my computer's lagging. Alrighty guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Tinker's Construct mod and the Crafting Guide mod. First thing I'm going to do is the Crafting Guide, because it's fairly simple. Then we're going to get into the Tinker's Construct mod. Okay, so, this is the Crafting Guide. Um, all it does is it's literally, a, it's what the name says, is a Crafting Guide. And it adds in... It tells you how you craft stuff. Obviously, you can't craft chain mill because you can't get fire. I don't know why that's even in there. Unless there is a way to get fire, and I just don't know about it. Um, it shows you all the crafting recipes. You can also change it to show brewing recipes and, and smelting recipes. And then there's options, enable key bindings, and stuff like that. Um, uh, I haven't seen that before. I don't really like that. It's so... And then, yeah, this is the recipe list. You get to the recipes. That's the options. And that's the show slash hide recipes by crafting type, which is like the recipes you can, uh, machines. I don't know what that button does. There's input and output. I have no idea what those do. You can set item. And so you can, like, just say I wanted to search sword. You can search that. You can clear it. And you can go back. And it also shows you, like, the old... The old kind of inventory from like Minecraft, one of the Minecraft versions beforehand. So, yeah, there's the crafting guide. I don't care. <laughs> okay, so now to on to the Crinker, Tinker's Construct. Crinkers. <laughs> Tinker's Construct. Okay, so what we've got here is we have the stencil table. I've already messed around with it. This is where you get all your stuff that you use to make. This is where you get your patterns to make the actual tools. And. Once you get your pattern, let's grab, let's make, we're going to make a pickaxe. So we're going to grab that. You need a tool binding, a pickaxe head, and a tool rod. So, then what you do, what you can do is, is you can, oh, I already have a tool rod, okay. You can throw patterns in here, and it'll keep track of just your patterns. That's all it'll hold, because it's a patterns chest. And then you've got your part builder. Apparently, I've already been doing this. So, this is where you throw your patterns, and you can make it out of, now, I will explain the all how to make all the materials and stuff later like what how, why i'll explain stuff as i go on here with just this normal part builders and the patterns you can only make it out of um you can only make them out of like raw materials such as look uh stone bone cactus here i'll show you uh stone flint cactus bones uh, netherrack, all of those, but to make them out of like iron and copper and stuff like that, you need to actually smelt them in the tool forge or in the smeltery thing, which I will show you. It's over there. I'll show you in just a second or just a minute. So you make your tools, your tool pieces, and the reason why you get the stone shard is because the tool pattern, the tool rod pattern takes 0.5 material cost, so it takes half of cobblestone, so it has to split it into shards. Same with the tool binding. So once you have your tools, and I'll show you what you can do with the, with the, the shards in just a second. What you do is, is that you can, you can go, you can either do this like this. I think it's like that. No, it flips these around, and it makes it that. Or you can make it easier on yourself and click on the pattern here, and it gives, you, it tells you where you where to put the stuff. And then you can use the pickaxe. Now you can also upgrade these by going here, going to the repair modification tab. You, all that I know of so far is a diamond, I believe gold, I think emerald, and then redstone. Gold, uh, diamond and redstone I know for sure. So you throw it here, and then let's try it. Yeah, emerald, and it gives it plus 50% durability. And then I think gold does something. No, gold, okay. You can't use gold. Diamond gives it plus 500 durability. And then redstone uses, gets it, gives it space, which makes it mine faster. So there's that. And now what you can do with the stone shards, if I flip into game mode zero and I mine a little bit with it, as you can see, it mines pretty slow. Because it's just a normal stone pickaxe just with uh, durability upgrades and one haste upgrade. So as you can see, it is damaged a little bit. So if I go to the tool forge, or the tool station, and I throw this in here and I take a shard, you can use shards to repair tools. Now if I were to, oh yeah, and also, 
if you put stuff in here and then you leave it, it acts as a, like, I guess you could say, like, a chest or something. It keeps the items right where you placed them. So that if you just, like, accidentally exit out, you don't, like, drop everything and risk losing it. So let's break more blocks. And I know I'm, like, totally destroying this village, but let's, like, break this and lower their ability some more. So you can also use cobblestone repair. As you can see, it's I've used quite a bit of it. I've used just a little bit of it. So if I throw it in there, and as you can see, the shards do repair quite a bit of it. So hold on. Let me see if I can flip this. Oh, God. Okay. So that's how you do that. That's how you make your tools. And um, next is the tool forge. This is where you make, like, better weapons and stuff like a crossbow and a excavator, a scythe, a lumber axe, I guess that area of effect fall to fell trees and three by three area. So these like have special oh yeah, the tools have special abilities and stuff. So like the the hat the matic has is special abilities hoe, like you can to land to make farmland. Uh, the axe, the shovel, and the pickaxe don't really have a special ability. They, uh, the longsword's actual ability is charge boost. Its special ability is lunge, so, like, whenever you right-click and you let go, it, like, shoots you forward. I don't know why I'm flipping out with my mouse. It, like, shoots you forward. And then the rapier, its, uh, natural ability is armor pierce, quick strike, charge boost, special ability is back to pedal. It, like, whenever you do it, it, like, right-click, it, like, shoots you backwards. And then the crossbow, the, the special ability re reduced reload time with harder materials. So, like, if you were to make it out of iron and stuff like that, the, the stronger, the harder the materials, so, like, obsidian, like, the, like, if you put, obs make it out of obsidian, the, re the reload time is a lot quicker than if you were to make it out of iron. So yeah, that's that, and uh, there are a few, um, there are quite a bit of items, there's a bunch of like blocks and stuff, there's SDX, I don't know what that is, there's like a bunch of blocks, and then there's a, oh, I love these random bounce pads, wanted to show this, boing, <laughs> it like bounces you around, obviously I don't know why, it, why that little blue thing is there. So I guess if I were to do that, it'd bounce me that way, I'd place it that way, bounce me that way, face that way, bounce me. Okay, yeah. So anyways, that you could like set something up like really cool with this. Like then you you hit like here, then it bounces you this way. Then you go there, there. So you could do something like really cool like this. So like me. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that's it. Just adds in a bunch of stuff. Um, and then there's you see like the emerald, liquefied emerald, molten nickel. It adds in some stuff that you can do. You need to get like the iron to make the tools out of iron. You need to use the smeltery. Now villages, they do spawn these sometimes. They're rare though, and they also spawn in a villager that will trade stuff for other stuff. Like it's. Sexy mustaches do, or eyebrows do, and a sexy mustache. Uh, uh so anyways, <laughs> uh, the smeltery, it, like, you smelt the, you can throw them in here somehow, I don't know how to use this, but, uh, one of my friends do, I might have them join on and we might do a smeltery tutorial. Um, and then it's also spawns in this building. There's normally a piston there, I don't know why it's not there. Uh, oh yeah, if I click it. <laughs> Uh, very forgetful. I have a bad memory. Not really, but I forget stuff a lot. But it, it spawns in this little building. It's a Tinker's Crossbar building. It's, it spawns with a bunch of stuff. It's like crossbars, wide guards, pans, it, and this little chest over here. And then you can also, it also spawns in a stencil table, a crafting station, a part builder, pattern chest, and tool station. And the pattern chests normally have a bunch of patterns in them. So it's really cool if you find these. And then these normally all pretty much always spawn here in, in villages. Normally they spawn, like, so I'm just going to check out this one. So it's like, 
it's not very rare to find a village without or with one. It, uh, it, they're quite rare to find them without them, but it's rare to find them with the smelteries. So yeah, that's the mod or the Tinker's Construct and the crafting guide. I know this is this is mainly a Tinker's Construct mod or mod showcase, but uh, I decided to throw in the uh, the crafting guide just in case you like don't know how to craft them. So this is like the tool forge, and the, oh yeah, I forgot to show the crafting recipes. There's a tool forge. The normal tool forge is three seared bricks, two four blocks of iron, and a tool station to make the tool station. Oh, let me find it. It's a uh, it's a blank pattern, a blank pattern, and I'll show you how to make those over a crafting table, crafting station, or crafting slab with what I call them. To make the blank patterns, all you need to do is two sticks and two planks like that and then to make a part builder it's a lot any log over underneath a plank a blank pattern and then to make the pattern chest it's a chest over underneath a blank pattern to make a stencil table it's any log underneath plank over over under sorry stuttered there under a blank pattern to make the materials to make the a book apparently you can do that i didn't know that to make the uh, to make the materials in new volume one in case you were to die, it's just a piece of paper and a blank pattern, so it's fairly cheap. So yeah, there's the uh, there's the I'm like moving. There's the Tinker's Construct mod and the crafting guide. So hope you enjoy. Leave a like. Can we aim for ten likes? And hopefully y'all will subscribe because I will be doing. Once school, uh, I will be well. Once school starts, yeah, I will be trying to post at least one video a week, and I will. Sorry, I was stretching. Uh, I will also be playing with my little brother. Uh, to, we will be doing like Minecraft let's plays and stuff. Um, so and also, uh, we do have kind of a problem with the recording stuff. I'm using fraps, as you can tell by the uh. The thing up here if you can't see it then oh I didn't know but uh cuz like I said I'm new to this if I didn't then I'm new to YouTubing and stuff like that um, so yeah me and my brother you we use Skype to record the audio of us both talking so his is like a really loud and mine's like a really quiet so I don't know what the deal with that is so I'm sorry if you can barely hear me and then like you can like hear me like walking and stuff i'm trying to fix that i don't know what's going on with it so yeah there's the tinker's construct mod and the crafting guide uh subscribe leave a like uh aim for 10 likes that's what we're aiming for if we can do it and hope you enjoyed see y'all next time